Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today we're going to be taking a look at the League Battle Decks that just came out, featuring Reshiram and Charizard, and Pikachu and Zekrom. Now, ignoring the fact that this guy kind of fell out, well, I guess shipping or something, and like the whole, all the manual stuff is like missing, we're going to be taking a look at this one, which is the more popular of the two right now, uh, just because of some of the cards that come in it, um, but yeah. I think this is definitely uh, the buy right now. If you saw my previous video on the theme decks, I did mention that you should wait until these came out to get uh, Pokemon stuff, just because it's a lot more competitive. And it comes, as you can see, with the two Pika Roms and this Alolan Raichu Raichu, which already are an awesome combination. But yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at these and seeing um, what exactly is in here and how to use it and if it's really worth buying compared to just regular theme decks. Keep in mind this thing is going for $25 right now. Because of its popularity, my guess is it's going to get sold out and you might see this thing double the price. So if you can, go out and get one now. If you just plan on keeping it as is and not opening it, that's fine. But trust me, these things are going to sell quickly. Same thing goes with these, but not as quickly just because the cards aren't as, I guess, sought after as this one. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here is the deck. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, comes with these cards. Um, we don't see the uh, deck behind it, but there is a deck box behind this card. And there's a bunch of instructions. This is the back of it, and it has a full list of all the stuff you're going to be getting. Um, and there's a little picture here of what exactly you're getting as well. It's just kind of like uh, the old um, battle decks that came out featuring um, Ultra Necrozma and Rayquaza a while back. Obviously the Ultra Necrozma one was more uh, sought after just because of those Jirachis. And as we'll see, this one also comes with Jirachis, as you can probably see there. Right there. Uh, there. Uh, I'm not even on the screen. There it is. Jirachi. Four of them. That's right. Four Jirachis. That alone is one of the reasons this thing is sought after. I mean, even the code card on this thing sells for maybe like $10, $15, which is ridiculous, honestly. For a code card. I think the same thing you could see for the Trevenant and Dustnor one. Um... Yeah, that's really loud. I hope it's not too loud on the camera, on the recording, I mean. But we're going to take this out. All right. As we can already see, comes to the GX counter. Let's flip this over. We have a bit of information here. We'll take a look at after. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see here. We have... This Raichu and Alolan Raichu, not a bad card, honestly. Um, it's definitely a staple when it comes to Pikaram decks. And of course we do come with the two Pikaroms. And these are actually, these are actually, oh my gosh, I just realized these are not promos or anything. If you look at them, they're stamped with the actual uh, team up. And I think this guy was from Unified Minds. These are the actual cards from those sets. That These cards used to be just like promos. They had promo versions of them. But these are the actual cards from those sets. My gosh, that... I'm wondering if the other ones are going to be just as good. I think the Jirachis won't be hollows, but I could be surprised. And as I said, comes with a little deck. It's actually pretty interesting. I might use this as a display later somewhere. We do get the GX counter and the burn and poison one behind it. Nice little packaging. They should definitely start doing this a little bit more. Some dice with numbers. And I actually want to open this up real quick because I want to take a look at what the design is for the one symbol. Because usually they have a different symbol. Oh, well, no. I guess not. Not for this case, but usually they have a different symbol for the one. It might be the same thing for the Charizard one where it's just coin things like this. And code card. And now this, as I said, is a very valuable code card. So if you get it, 
good luck to you. Hopefully you enjoy this deck. I mean, I would definitely. <laughs> it's an awesome deck, so enjoy that. All right, so let's go ahead and I guess get this plastic out of the way. All right, we don't need that anymore. What else did it come with? It came with a TCG rulebook, just information if you want to learn how to play, which if you're getting this deck, I would hope that you're playing on playing with it um, and not just displaying it. I mean, if you do want to display it, go ahead, but it's meant for playing. It, it's literally built for playing. So if you want to try it out, definitely do so. Uh, it comes with this, which I'm not sure what it is. It's information on how to play each one of the decks, I believe. Yeah, it gives you some uh, examples here. Uh, my guess is using Tapu Koku. Prism start to attack? Okay, that, ignore this thing. I'll show you how to exactly use it. I mean, I mean, seriously, you don't use Tapu Koko Prism Star to attack. You use it for its ability. That's literally the only reason it's in the deck and in any Picarom deck. So I don't know why I was saying it has a strong attack. Okay, yeah, just the amount of times I've seen someone use its attack is zero. I've never seen anyone use Tapu Koko Prism Star to attack with. And if they were that desperate, I mean, that's kind of sad. They must have had not any good pulls from uh, from their hand. Uh, anyways, a little rant. We're gonna go ahead and organize this and then we'll come back and talk about it. So I ordered these by Pokemon, supporters, items, and then Pokemon tools, and then just threw all the energies into one pile. Um, but we'll go over the Pokemon that we're getting in this deck. And honestly, I think this deck, as I said, is already competitive as itself. Uh, we have two Pika ROMs. And obviously you're gonna use this to load up your other Pokemon with energy using its full blitz, which lets you grab three of the energies and put them onto your Pokemon any way you like. Then we have the Raichu and Alolan Raichu, which is gonna be one of your very important attackers because Tandem Shot, if you switch it into play, it lets you paralyze your opponent so they may not be able to attack uh, the following turn. So it's a good way to stall them for a turn or so. Then we have Tepu Koko, and I don't know why that uh, thing mentioned oh, using, uh, what is it, Mock Ball, a Mock Bolt. Don't use it for that. The only reason this thing is really important is because of Dance of the Ancients. Now, if this is on your bench, you can discard it and essentially get two energies from your discard pile and attach them to your Pokemon. That's the only reason this thing is really used in this deck for. And then the real bread and butter and why this deck is so sought after. Four Jirachis. I can't tell you guys how crazy it is that Pokemon decided to give us four Jirachis in a League Battle deck. That is crazy. I mean, we thought they were crazy when they gave us two in the Ultra Necrozma. They gave us four. They gave us four of these guys. Now, granted, they're not hollow or anything. At least when I look at them, they don't look hollow. The only hollow... Pokemon that we're getting extra is this Tapu Koko Prism Star. I don't know why um, they didn't make these hollow at all because we'll see later there's another card that, or two I think, that should have been hollow. But at least we're getting four and these guys, I mean the price is probably going to tank, trust me. Maybe not the reverse and the hollow but the regular version is going to tank like crazy. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be sought after just because it might get sold out really quickly as I said before but... Four Jirachis, not bad for a League Battle deck. Then we're also getting some other interesting Pokemon. We're getting Zapdos. Now this guy is very good just because Thunderous Assault, you can use it to do 80 damage real quick for one energy. And it's fairly used often in like more budget Picarom decks. I myself don't really use it, but it's here in case you want it. Or you can replace it with something later on. We also have another card that I think is replaceable, Hoopa. Now this guy is used more for its evil abd abdomination, I think it's what it's called. It does 10 plus, I believe 20 for each Pokemon that has an ability. Now this can do a lot of damage and especially for one energy, it's not bad. But uh, I don't know about adding this guy in. I never really added him myself, 
but he's there. Then we have two questionable cards. I'm just going to put them out here at the same time. Amp, Apom, and Ele Electros. I think Apom is here because of Yankoff. It uses one energy and it lets you discard cards from your opponent's hand if they have too many. Usually good for Blacephalon decks because they love to put a lot of energy into their hand. And then this guy, I'm not too sure. It might be for his ability um, just to be able to put energies onto Pokemon. But in all honesty, I don't really think... I think these two would probably be easily replaced in the deck. Now, let's move on to our supporters. Now, we're getting... I believe three copies, yep, yeah, of Professor's Research. I would add another one, maybe get rid of the one of those Pokemon I mentioned to add four, just to have the extra draw support. So we're getting four of those, and then we're getting two Marnies, which I think is a good number. I think a lot of decks have decided that only having two Marnies is really the best option. You shouldn't have more than two because sometimes it's detrimental to your uh, I guess your flow of things when you start playing. Then we also have two Malolanas. Now, I think this is one of the cards you could maybe replace. At least one of these Malolanas, you can add in a Guzman Hala just because I'll mention it later, but I don't think you really need to worry about healing so much nowadays. Um, but two of them, and you again, these are more, I guess... Starting points, you can build on to these because Erica's Hospitality, another card I think replaceable. It's not really a good draw supporter. It's dependent on them having um, enough cards on their bench for you to draw, but eh, I I'd replace this one too. All right, we're running out of space here. Let's uh, shove some of these guys a little bit over. There we go. Okay, let's actually move on to this bunch, which actually was going to probably get rid of all our space here um let's get these energies out of here we have four copies of switch which is really needed because they don't add any escape boards for jirachis and i think this is the only way you're going to be able to switch those out other than mallow and lana but four switches definitely needed in this deck because i think the other reason i haven't looked at all these over but most of these seem to be cards that are team up and up so there's nothing from lost under ultra uh, ultra prism forbidden light uh and i forget that the other one is but um celestial storm none of those cards are in here and i think escape War might have been from ultra prism same thing goes with cynthia uh i think one of the reasons is because in june or july a lot of those cards are getting rotated out or it might be august but as you'll see a lot of these cards are either reprints uh, that came out in Sword and Shield or just team up and up expansions. Pokemon Communications, switch out Pokemon or switch Pokemon in and out from your deck. Energy switches, which I don't know if you need to, you can probably just go with one. The same thing goes with these tag switches. You can probably just go with one of each of these two. Put these together. And then we have only two copies of Quick Mall, which is I think two less than you actually need. You need four of these, I think, in my opinion. Um, or you could uh, add in some tag calls because we are running the Malon Lanas and these tag team Pokemon. And as I'll explain later, you want to add some other tag teams into this deck as well that you're going to want to use tag calls for. We have Electromagnetic Radar, which is good for drawing some of these GX Pokemon out. Um, keep in mind, you have to discard things, but. Again, you can use this to um, get rid of some uh, lightning energies and then use the Taku, Tapu Koko Prism Star to get uh, those onto your bench. Ordinary Rods, not sure if you're going to want to bring back any of this stuff. And Reset Stamps, I don't think you really need more than one. A lot of decks just run one nowadays. This card, Road on Bike, it's a double-edged sword. I mean... You draw cards, but your your er, blah, 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 your turn ends. In my opinion, that's kind of iffy. This is more if you're for sure going like first, you could use this. But 
Not the best card. Honestly, this is one of the cards I'd replace. Now that we've thoroughly run out of space, I think I'll just show these off since there's only three of them. These are the only Poke Tools you get. And this is why I mentioned that they might only be giving you uh, Ultra Prism and Up, or sorry, Team Up and Up, because Ultra Prism, Forbidden Light, Celestia Storm, and Lost Thunder are all getting rotated out in a few months. So that's why we don't see any escape ports, which were a staple when you played the Jirachis. So I guess now you're gonna have to use switches until they reprint something that maybe a float stone or another escape board, something that will help those Jirachis. Actually, a good option, now that I think about it, is a card called Scoop Up Net, which I'll try and throw up on the screen. That you could probably replace um, with some other cards, especially for the Jirachis, just because it helps a bit. And that way you don't have to worry. It's a one use, which is the same thing as Switch, but it's another way to get the Jirachis out of your active. And they go back into your hand, so you don't have to worry about them taking up too much bench space. So, that is pretty much the deck. I mean, there's not really much to say other than this deck. It's gonna be great. If you're a beginner, even like a more well-versed in Pokemon, this deck is awesome. I would definitely recommend it for anyone that either wants to start out, but wants to start out running. Like if they already know what Pokemon is and they know a little bit of the rules, they don't wanna just go into the baby steps using the theme deck. This is definitely the way to go. There are so many good cards in this deck that you could make any other form of car, uh, deck that you want for Pika Rom. There's so many variations out there right now. There's the original Pika Rom, which is loosely related to this one. Oh, that's the other thing. Zero or GX, another card that's not in uh, Team Up and Up. I think that one's Lost Under. So another card that unfortunately would help a lot in Pika Rom that we're not getting in this deck. Same thing goes with uh, Thunder Mountain, which essentially would make it a lot easier to attack with by removing one of the uh, lightning costs, but again, getting removed. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on that might affect this. Uh, you could make this better, definitely. You could definitely make this better. One certain card that you could add to this, Bolton V, that's a really great card right now. Um, it helps you by using Electrify to essentially put energies onto your Pokemon. So it's a good turn one. And it's second attack, uh, I forget what it's called, but for two energies, it does, uh, I think 20 times or something like 30 times uh, the amount of energies attached to your Pokemon. So it's already a great strong attack. And if you're playing this, I say before the rotation and you still have Thunder Mountains, it's only gonna use one energy to attack with. So it's pretty strong. Now, I did mention that this has 11 energies. I think you could probably replace four of these with the new Speed Lightning Energy. Now that one lets you draw two, ener two cards when you play it onto a Pokemon. So it's actually a pretty good card and it still provides the same amount of energy that you're gonna be replacing. Uh, other than that, if you're still playing this pre-rotation, try and add those escape boards. Try adding uh, Thunder Mountain. Try adding Zero or GX. I've already started switching over my Pika Rom deck to not use that stuff just so I can get a little bit more used to it. But it, I, I find that it's a lot more inconsistent just because of less mobility. Zero or GX really helped with letting these guys switch in and out of the active spot, especially when it came to Alone Ryan 2's Tandem Shock. It was really essential that it could just move in back and forth freely, but now we have to use the retreat cost. And that, that's one of the reasons that they added the air balloon into this deck, just so you can use that to bring it back and forth. But keep in mind, people might start playing that Galar Mine, which increases your uh, retreat cost. So it sucks. There's a lot of changes going on in Pokemon right now, but I think this is definitely still a strong deck and you should definitely go out and buy this. So yeah, that's my two cents. Hopefully you guys uh, agree or disagree. Honestly, I'm fine with both. You can let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and what you think about this deck. Um, but yeah, let's briefly talk about this over here. It's been here for a while. 
hasn't it? <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk about it. So this is the next giveaway. We're gonna be giving away three cards and a coin as usual until we run out of these coins. Um, so what are we giving away? We're giving away a Sweet Coon GX full art. A full art. A Toxtricity V from Rebel Clash and a Pidgeot GX. Now if this is familiar, it's because we just pulled it in the last video. And I think it's definitely worth giving away, trust me. It's an awesome card and I think anyone that loves the Kanto Pokemon would love this Pidgeot GX. Honestly, I love it too, but I think it'd be better in one of your guys' hands, trust me. So yeah, we're giving these three cards away plus this Raikou coin. Now it's upside down, but anyways, these three cards and this coin to one lucky winner. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is be a subscriber and comment down below what your favorite thing about this deck is. And that's pretty much it. Just subscribe, comment down below what's your favorite thing about this new deck. And if you want to give your opinion, is it worth buying even if you're just a collector? Uh, I know a lot of people are just collecting Pokemon cards, not actually playing. So is this worth it to you? Or would you rather just spend your $25 or whatever it is uh, on something else? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, and as a teaser, we're gonna be giving this away soon. Once we hit to 400, I'm gonna give away someone a Charizard from Evolutions. Hopefully you guys get subscribed for that later. But thanks for watching. And again, if you enjoyed this video, get subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next one.